consistent same scheme same coaches and, and kind of getting back at it just a few you know just seven weeks after the bowl game uh it feels good um just being able to have the same coaching staff you know back to back years knowing the scheme already being able to go with the same most of the same dudes um it feels good the coaches uh, understand we know more plays understand the how, how, what's the next step defensively? What do, what do you guys try to improve this spring to take into the fall? I think it's just more fundamentals. I think last year was more just teaching us the scheme and trying to get us to learn as fast as we could. But now I think we're running more back to the fundamentals. Um, they're definitely implementing uh, things a lot quicker. Um, but yeah, I think the key focus is just fundamentals right now. Jerry, how much, of, how much of a benefit is it in terms of the improvement defensively that you guys get Brian Brown and the whole staff back again. Just somebody, it's something you guys have missed for so long, kind of switching defense coordinators so long. Oh, it's great. Everybody's more roused, higher. Um, just everybody seems more as a unit. Like, like the past couple of years, it seems like we always had to try to find ourselves again, over and over again. But now, it seems like we're just building, building. How, how you mentioned the morale, but how confident is, is this defense coming off that Mississippi Bowl in a couple of weeks? They should be confident. They should be confident. I think we understand that when we play, when, we're supposed, when we play how we're supposed to play, when we fit our gaps right, Linebackers probably put play, say just cover how they're supposed to cover. One of the top defenses. You guys lose like, some some key guys leadership wise. I mean, are you one of those guys? And and how does that kind of play itself out? You feel like on defense, to, to who's going to be the leaders? Uh, I think I'm definitely I'm definitely one of the leaders of the D line. Uh, we have Doran. Doran came back. Uh, C J came back. You no, know, I think we're the top three leaders. Added a bunch of the newcomers. What's your early impression of some of these new guys joining the team? They work hard, man. They work hard. I think the coaches did a great, a great job recruiting them. A uh, bunch of hard workers, uh, nonstop. Do you feel like they're gonna be able to give some depth and some push there as well? Most definitely. I think I think they'll give depth uh, that we lost, you know, from Gigi and Amante. Um, yeah, it'll be good. You mentioned there's a guy like Gigi and Amante who helped you guys a lot last year. Why, man? Of course, pretty much the same. I mean, the experience they had, how much did that help you guys up front? Bro? I mean, you got to think about it. Just the experience that the linebackers have personally, it helps the defense out, and especially the D line, because they know what costs made. They can read formations a lot easier. They've been playing. I mean, Dorian and CJ have been playing since the freshman year. So, you know, just having them back, being able to see things that, you know, we can't see the D line and telling us what we're supposed to do, it helps. Jared, for you individually this year, you know, being the last year to kind of take that step and. What are you looking for from yourself, and, and uh, you know, and, and what will you try to go out and prove in your in your last year? I'm trying to prove that I'll be an NFL prospect. Um, I spent a big year for myself, a real big year. Um, I always spent nothing less. But this is what I've been waiting for. You know, this is my fourth year playing, so senior year is my last round. Last year, you all rotated a lot. You maybe the depth will be younger now. Do you expect that you'll get more reps, or is it going to kind of be the same rotation? You think? Oh, I was definitely uh, more reps, uh, yeah, and the end All right. Thank you.